Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial 107 for the XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to use the newsletter system for MailChimp in your XAR Web Designer site. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to MailChimp.com. And when you get to MailChimp.com, you want to go ahead and sign up for an account if you already don't have one. And the way you would do that is click on the button that says sign up free. And once you sign up for your account, let's go ahead and log in. I'm going to click on the login option up here and enter in my username and password. And I'm going to go ahead and click the onward button to move forward because I don't need to read through that information. And once you get to the dashboard, the first thing that I'm going to say is this. I'm not going to actually go over how to use the newsletter system for MailChimp. Instead, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate it into your website because they already have videos that show you how to use their system so I'm going to show you how to access those so let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom of our page and then under the get help section click on contact support and when you get to that page you'll see the that the top of the page has some text that says support in really big bold letters and right beneath that you'll see an option that says online training so let's go ahead and left click on that and it'll take you to the page for your basic training videos. And you'll see that it says getting started over here and it has a list of videos. So I highly recommend you watch those videos so that you know how to set up your newsletter system. And then there's some other tutorials as well on importing lists. But I'm going to go ahead and click on the MailChimp text here at the top and that'll take me back to their home page. And for some reason it logged me out so I need to log back in. So let's go ahead and click on the list option here in our navigation menu bar. And once you click on list, assuming that you created a list after watching those video tutorials, you would click on the settings button here. And under the forms and fields section, click on forms. And that's going to take you to the form that you created. And once you're at that form, you're going to click on the option that says share it. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And it's going to really give you three options that you can share. One is a QR code in this first section over here. And you can just copy this QR code by clicking on one of these buttons. So if I clicked on the small one here, it bring up an image. You would save that image and then you would print it on your advertisement. So I'm going to go ahead and close this tab out. The next option you have is a subscribe form. And basically this is going to be a form that is sitting on MailChimp's system it's not going to be directly embedded on your website but when they click on that link it's going to take them to the link on MailChimp system and they'll be able to fill the form out at their website but once they're done filling out the form it'll still take them back to your website if you set everything up correctly so don't worry that it's embedded on their system uh, the third option that you have here is create form HTML and that's going to embed it directly on your website so in this case I'm actually going to create code for a small subscribe form to embed it directly on our website. And when you get there, um, you really have three options. You have the super slim form, you have the classic form, and the naked form. And whichever one that you want to go with is pretty much up to you. And you can just click through and you can see the different views for each of these forms. So it's up to you which one you want to use. I'm going to use super slim and I'm going to click on options. And I'm going to, ch I'm going to change the set form width. I'm probably going to make it about 360 or so, somewhere around there, because I like to keep things kind of even. And actually, I'm going to set that probably to about a 365 for the form width. And once you're done setting how far you want that to be in terms of the width, you would go ahead and click in the copy and paste into your site box and hit Control C to copy that information. And let's go ahead and go back to XAR Web Designer. And once you're back at XR Web Designer, let's go ahead and draw a rectangle in our workspace. And I actually don't probably need to make it quite that big because it's not really a big uh, form for subscribing. Then I'm going to right click on that and go to Web Properties. And then I'm going to go to Placeholder. And I'm going to go to Replace with HTML Code and Body section. Hit Control V. Hit OK. And I'm going to regenerate placeholder. I'm not sure if it'll regenerate it based on how they have their code set up, but hopefully it does. So it looks like it worked. Uh, we have a, a placeholder image here in our web browser. I'm going to hit, hit cancel because I don't want to regenerate that placeholder again. 
and I'm going to go to file preview web page and this is how it looks so they'll be able to enter in their email address here I'm just entering fake information you know and they would hit subscribe so that's pretty much how you create your uh, newsletter in terms of allowing people to subscribe to you I didn't actually go through the process obviously of how to create the campaign and send out the emails that kind of thing but I highly recommend that you watch their videos if you have any questions let me know if their videos are not helpful for you you know I'll try to learn the system I'm very new to MailChimp myself I haven't really used it but because of that YouTube viewer request I did some research to find out how to use their system because the system I use is a little bit more um, complicated in terms of setting it up but I hope that this video was helpful if it was don't forget to embed comment subscribe and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day